GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series. This is Season 2 of the um, generic brand galaxy scenario that I made, and... We just finished, I think everything is textured now. So I came up with a texture color scheme from my base. I think I like it. It looks pretty good. I like it's a custom custom color that I played around with. So I still got to texture everything else. That's the, uh, this is going to be the construction room here. Let's put down, we've got, these are actually, um, section or compartmentalized container controllers that connect to uh, large arrays of container extensions and so this one I believe does the full where does it show it doesn't show oh it's it's it is this one here okay um, yeah, so it can do 32, 320,000 storage units. This one isn't quite up to that. It can only do 224,000. Now, I also want, I mean, I need a, I need a deconstruct one that's fairly big. I need a, uh, blocks one for CV blocks that's fairly big, well maxed out. Um, mats is going to have to be pretty pretty big. I need an ore one, so I need a whole bunch of cargo container extensions right now. Let's let's dump a bunch of. Let's start making a bunch of. We can go into. Is this the one? No, that's the one we want down there. We want. So what is that? That's controller. Okay. And then we want that. Oh, stop that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we need a whole bunch more container extensions. Okay. How expensive are those? SVHV base. 12 steel plates. That's not too bad. The steel plates are only. Let's figure out how much each one costs then. Steel plate. Steel plates. Ten steel plates is two ingots. So it is. Hmm. Two point four. No. Uh, point two is not quite one. Okay, so. Yeah, it's just just over two ingots. For ten stars. Okay, so two ingots. Huh. That's actually pretty cheap. It's just barely over two ingots. That's not that bad. That's pretty cheap. Okay. Well, we'll make a bunch of them. And let's make, um, we need a bunch more because we're going to need a whole bunch along the back wall. Let's do a hundred. Okay, so that's going to pump out a hundred of those. And how much do they weigh each? 30. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay. And they stack in stacks of hundred or probably nine hundred ninety-nine. Uh, we have another. Where is it? Oh, we got the our deconstructor. We can put down too. But I let's put down. Where is it? Where is it? It is. It is. Probably still. Um. Oops, not water. Not controller one controller. Yeah. Okay, so the other advanced constructor. And we've got a furnace to put down too. Okay. 
So let's do that. We've got the furnace to put down. I'm going to put that down in the corner here now that we've textured and painted. And spin that around to there. Okay. And then I'm going to put the advanced constructor down beside its buddy like that. Okay, and I need to put containers around there with an um, controller. So basically, can we do like a, a wall, a thin wall? We can. Can we do a half one though, half wall? It's kind of that. I mean, eh. yeah, we can use one of these half blocks for a wall. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we'll, we'll go like that. And then we can use the controller up there so we can yep we can get to the furnace nice okay so we can get to the furnace without it cooking us yep excellent okay so uh, let's get some more of those extensions then excellent We've got a whole bunch made so we'll build we're going to build a room around the furnace made out of these extensions. I wonder if I should do something tricky there to make it look better, like round that off or something. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, so what do we got here in the way of volume? We have 65,500. Let's, we probably only need these three more here and that'll be sufficient for an ore, for ore. Yeah. That's cool. We've encased the uh, furnace in its own little ore storage. Uh, so, do we round the corners? I don't know. Nothing else is rounded in this base, though, is it? Nothing else. We could do this. I think... I think... Uh, Oh, stop it. There we go. We could do that. Let's do that. That looks pretty good. I like that. There we go. So this cargo controller has... Oh, what the hell's going on there? That's incorrect. Oh, it connected to... What? Did it connect to another one? Why? Um, oh! Those weren't connected to it before until I put those in to connect. Okay, good. So that... 151,000. Good. That's what, that's what I wanted. I wanted it close to about half of what a full one can do because that's all it needs that's tons that's tons okay so I can't oh I can I could go like this and just add two more there flesh that out so what does it have now 167,000. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, we'll texture that in a second. 
That's cool. I like that. And then we need another controller for up there. Do we have any more controllers? No. Got lots of extensions. Let's make another controller. So we've got our... Let's just... He's not quite done. So we'll go here. We'll grab that. Sure. We'll make... Uh, Controller, SVHV, base. Actually, I'm going to need a few of them because out in the uh, the tunnel hall there where the HV is going to be parked, um, that's going to have a bunch of, of large storage out there too. I'm also going to have a fuel storage down in the core room with the other fuel tanks and whatnot. Okay. Um, this is looking pretty good in here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We got to do something about that though. I got to make the wall or mat make that all match. I might have to pop that out. And... Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oops. No, 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 no. Okay, so we were doing that one. Okay, I really like that you can uh, texture these with a lot more textures than than they had before because it was it really sucked before. Okay, well that's pretty good. I got that. I got it all. Okay, excellent. Oh no, I got I didn't get the ones over there. Can I like? Oh, what a shot! Uh, can I sneak in there? I probably won't be able to. That one's hard to see. Yeah, I'm not going to, you guys going to tick over that? Because that's hard to get to. I'm not, I don't feel like pulling up the uh, <laughs> constructor. Okay, so that's all textured. Um, I don't think we can texture these. Oh, crap, we can. Or at least it says we can. No, didn't think so. Yeah, no. 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 Uh, no. <laughs> See, what I should do is texture. Can I do the the war? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay, excellent. And then we'll paint that in a second. Let's finish constructing this in here and getting this cargo container hooked up, our cargo controller hooked up. So we're, we'll use my drone to get in here. Now this is, um, how many units is this now? This is 224,000. So it's not quite maxed out. We should add some more. So let's do that. So increments of 8. 224, 232, 240, 248, 256, 264. <sighs> 272, 280, 
312, 320. Okay. And then we're going to get this one's going to touch. And we're going to get the third smaller. Well, I guess I was going to just bring that right down. Yeah, that's fine. So we can just put, I'll just put concrete here then. Or, well, no, I can, uh, no, 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 I don't need to do concrete. I can go like this. Now that, okay, so we can, we can make use of this space. What am I thinking? Of course we can make use of this space. As long as they don't touch, right? Okay, and then if I pop, yeah, yeah, if I pop this out and then put a container there instead, a uh, container extension, and then Okay, so now I can just put concrete there, I think. Because I can't, if I connect these now, it's all going to be just a waste. So, let's do that. Where are they? Where did I put those? Concrete blocks right here. Okay. And... Hide those ones out of the way. Now we will texture that. And get back to the textures here. Oops. And, hmm, it's not that page. There it is. Okay, and What's this one's texture for that is that. Okay, and then we'll paint that. Oops. Uh, that's our special color. Okay. We'll get this stuff painted up. Well, I didn't uh, texture that. That's fine. That's not that easy to see. Not sure if I wanted to paint that one. I think I'll change that back, but let me try and get this without. Yeah, nice. And excellent. Okay. Not too concerned about. Okay, so I want to make that white to signify a cargo controller um, so, so we want to put just regular concrete there and then we will texture that and we'll put a controller there and that'll connect up with the one that I stuck in the wall and the ones in behind there and then we can or actually, if I do it there and extend it down, to under here. Yeah, because I want to put a couple of fridges here. So, I, so if we do... That means I can put a controller right here then. If I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put an extender in, an extender in, an extender in, and then I could do like something funky and have it running along the bottom there without touching that'd be kind of weird but 
but I could go like put one there and then put the controller right there. Yeah, let's do that. That's cool. That's cool. So, oh, come on. Oh, why? Oh, it's connected to, uh-oh, what did it connect to? Is it this one? Was it in behind there or something? Okay, what did I connect it to by accident? It's connected to something. Darn it. Let's pop this one off. Let's see if it's still connected. Yeah, see, there's an extension right there. That's the problem. Okay, so... Um, it's okay, I can... Was that... See, that's just concrete there. So I could put the extension there, or the controller there. Right? I should be able to put the controller there now. Let's try it. Yep. Okay. Um, so that's for that one going up into there. I guess just to clean this up, we can go like this. And do I need to fill this in? We could do something else with that space. We can use... We can put something else in there, maybe. I don't want to just fill it in with concrete. Okay. And we want, where are you, that one? Nope, come on, there we go. And, well, I guess what I should do is, let's do whole block. Okay, and then we want to do the same texture on that, so like that, excellent, and we'll paint that up, can't even tell that it's all container controlled room. <laughs> With three large, I don't know how much is in this one. This one's 64,000. That's not bad. That's pretty good for a small one. That'll, that'll probably work for a deconstructor. Or even really, I mean, the mats one, because right now the mats is only taking up half that. And once I smelt this down, the ingots will, they'll may be more slots, but they'll take up less weight, actually, because when they see it's 0.8, and that's two. So divide that by two, or multiply by that by two, that's how many um, ingots you get. So multiply the volume by two there is 1.6 SU. So when you smelt it, it shrinks by 20%. Wow. Okay. That's good to know. So that's the benefit, I guess. Smelting is less weight, but it takes up more space. So that kind of sucks. So for a base, might as well just leave it as ore until you need it. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like smelting it anyway, just to to get it processed and ready for use. Okay, uh, let's keep working here. We've got lots of stuff to put down. Stop the dawdling. Okay, let's put the deconstructor down. I'm thinking right in this corner here, right? And then we can have... We can have cargo 
more running if we need along this wall too. Oh, oh, we're running out of fuel. Crap. Um, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Where's our uh, fuel reserves? Fuel reserves. Where are you? Uh, fuel reserves. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, not paying attention. I guess we got to make more fuel. Damn. Yeah, we're going to have to make more fuel. <laughs> okay. Looks like we got to eat something too. About to starve to death. That's okay. Whoops. Got lots of burgers made. Okay, well that's cool. We've got we've got some what is this? This is a full one, isn't it? It actually here, let's can we No? Didn't I have yeah, there we go. Ooh. Um Jeez, I'm gonna have to make more O2 too. Okay, well looks like we got some work here I gotta do. So let's let's get these things going. Um, there. Go like that. Oh, you know what? We should also get the deconstructor down. Where is the deconstructor? It's here. Number six. And like that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Um, excellent. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. And so it'll tie into it. It just functions like another constructor. It's just that whatever you connect it to, it automatically starts siphoning the first stuff out of the... So make a dedicated one for it, basically, and label it deconstruct. Because you don't want to throw your good stuff in there and all of a sudden your deconstructor's munching away at it. Um, no, come on. And we'll paint that. And we'll paint these. Okay. And. Oops. It's a little bright. Oh, it's even brighter. That must be it. Yeah, it's, oh, it's just the, the camera angle. Okay. Okay, well, you get the gist of it. We've got the constructor room pretty much built now. Um, I guess I should label these, so... What's this one got in it? It's got all the mats. And it's a full size one. And not like it's highly unlikely that that we'd need the the volume. I think we'd need more space than volume. Um, I might move that over to one of the ones that isn't like this one. What's this one? Sixty four. That's probably sufficient. That's probably sufficient. I mean, that's only half right now. And it's got a whole bunch of full stacks of ore in it. Ugh. I mean, how much am I going to have it filled? <laughs> right? I think I'm going to have more of a an issue with how many slots it has. So I think I think we'll use this one for the mats. Let's use this one for mats. So we'll call this one mats. And then 
we're going to let's move that over to it then. So we've got mats and controller one. No. Controller two. Yeah. And we'll dump. We'll do the like this. And then I'll dump that in. I just wanted to have the the ingots organized a little better. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean we're we're we've still got some space. We still got lots of space in it in the way to in the way of weight. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into we're gonna name this one now. And we're going to name this one or. And we're going to connect to that one from here. And we're going to. It's turned on right now, isn't it? No, it's off. OK. OK, so let's, let's just dump our or in there all of it because it's it can handle all types of ore except for promethium and magnesium oh wait it it might does it make magnesium powder i'm not sure oh it took it oh right because i'm in the i'm in the ore thing of course it took it i don't think it'll actually um grind it up though uh, but that's fine. I, it doesn't need to. It's kind of one of those one-off-y things. Well, that's a pretty good amount of, of ore we've got going so far. Now, do we have any more in the hole mole? Nope. We have lots of blocks, though. We do have some mats. So, mats. There and there. And there, and then so blocks. One of these, so that's three hundred twenty thousand. That's not going to take up any space. We got to put that into regular cargo. Uh, but we do have some blocks here, so we've got some blocks going on in here. Let's call this blocks. We'll call this blocks. Just some rudimentary names, just to get it a little bit better organized. And we're going to pull... There should be a couple of cargo boxes downstairs. Yep. Okay, so we're going to name. We're going to put more cargo boxes downstairs too in the basement. They're just going to be regular cargo boxes just for the slots for for things like weapons and ammo and stuff. That doesn't take up any volume. Okay, I'm, I'm liking it in here. It's good enough. This is good enough. We can, I guess we could run an extender cargo extensions along the ceiling and and just you know leave or maybe fill that in with concrete or something and leave i don't know it just meh at this point i don't really want to okay so we have all of this area i'm going to be putting cargo extensions more of them for the water and then I'm going to be making a fuel one, or actually the fuel is down. Let's go make the fuel one. We can go make the fuel one. Then we'll call it an episode. And we can, oh, we can pick, we can pick. Let's pick. Picky pick. Do the pick. And we'll connect to that. And nice. 
Yeah, lots of vegetables. We ain't going hungry anytime soon. Okay. So... We want to put... We want to fill this up with basically a cargo container for fuel. So... Let's start with just a whole bunch of containers then, right? Because fuel gets freaking heavy in the game, let me tell you. And, oh, I disconnected, right? Okay, so... That blocks. Yes. Reconnect to the blocks and a controller. Okay, so let's just start filling this in here. So it's nine. Ten makes eighty. Eighty eight, ninety six, hundred and four. 112, 120, 128, 136, 144, 152, 160. Okay, we got to get rid of that light. That's just going to make me twick. Okay. Um, yeah, that ain't happening. That light is going. Retrieve that. Okay. And we can get that in. You know what? Let's just fill it in like that. Uh, okay. So what are we looking at for extension here? Let's... That spun, we'll put that, I mean, I could put it just like right here. Yeah, and then, okay, so let's, let's transfer all the food. So we want deposit and we want, wait, I didn't put the other fridge down, did I? I did not do the other fridge yet. It's right there, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Get the fridge down. Okay. And we'll just use the same same one, that's fine. Okay, and we've got fridge over here, and fridge one over here, and we'll just dump all that over here. Then we'd be pretty much moved out of this room for the most part. And we'll just grab this. Okay. And we'll finish off with cargo extensions. So let's go up there. Don't really need my drone and actually I find the drone super twitchy and and if I don't necessarily have to use the drone for something then then I'll abstain from it for the most part okay so I can I can come right across here with this okay what are we at here oh we might have maxed out already so let's let's Pop. I, I wasn't I stopped counting I should have 
should have been counting. Yeah, where did we uh where did we max out? Perfectly maxed out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? That, that doesn't happen. <sighs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, I'm still I'm still trying to get really used to the controls here. So just you gotta bear with me, guys. Okay, so now what are we at? Yeah, it was, it was literally maxed out right there. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty funny. Okay, so now I do want to get a couple more regular cargo boxes. I mean, although I can't really get to them. It's not really the most ideal place anymore, but oh, I heard, I heard nasty things. I heard nasty things around here. Okay, well, I've got a lot of work to do on the base. I've got a lot of texturing to do. Uh, we've moved out of the basement, and now we're got this nifty new construction room and oh yeah we've got let's yeah what are we connected to blocks okay so and we also have the armor locker to put down and more of these and lights okay so what I want is the Fridge. We're, we're going to make one more fridge. And then the armor locker can go here. Hmm. You know what? It can go like this. Let's do some feng, feng shui. There, that looks better anyway. Uh, yeah, cool. And then, like I say, we can we could put cargo extensions across the top if, if need be. Well, there we go. We've got a fully functional advanced space now with pretty much able to do anything we want. Um, we can like go in here now and just like ore and we could like start smelting the ore. What I need to do is make one for ingots, but I could I could put this into mats for now and um I mean it needs iron. Turn that on it. It'll crank it out pretty quick. Just, uh, oh, I can't can't manipulate that. If I go like this, though, I can go like this, and like that. There, it's going to take a while to burn through the iron. Okay. Well, while well, it does that, I need to make oxygen. And we will grab that from the water. And uh, I need to put, what do I need to put in there? I need steel plates. So let's have this one putting steel plates into the water. So we'll go mats water and we'll put a bunch of steel plates into there 
for now. Okay. And while that's putting steel plates into there, now this one can start using that and we'll just put oxygen into... You know what? We'll put it back into the water for now. O2 and water is fine. And let's make, I don't know, 200 bottles. 200 bottles. There we go. So that one's putting the steel plates in. That's kind of cool. I like that. We can have one feeding the other one's input and output. And we don't have, oh right, this was going to be, that's mats, and that was blocks, so this was going to be ingots, I think. I need to make another one for deconstruct. Oh, you know what? We need to go like this because I placed one downstairs, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so... Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Um... Got one for mats, blocks, or... Water... Are we going to need a full huge one for deconstruct? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to be putting some big stuff in there to deconstruct for sure, but I'm not sure if we need a full one for that. I think I'll make a smaller one on the back wall. Um, this one? God, I don't know. Should I make this one ingots? Make this one ingots. And that's a hell of a lot of ingots to, to smelt. But we'll do that. And then that one is... 320,000. That one's fuel downstairs, right? Yeah, that one's the fuel downstairs. Okay, so once that one is done with... That one's done. Good. So we need fuel. So we can... You know what? We'll just... Um, which one was that? That was that. Let's dump it into there. And we'll make couple hundred and how are you doing you're doing pretty good you're doing pretty good okay we've got things under control now we've got things under control excellent so now um, let's name these let's name these did I um, did I screw up already Okay, so that one will be, oh, and that's the one full of crap. Um, we'll call this one mats, right? This fridge mats. And then call this one cooked there we go and then we can access this thing and we'll select the yep that's right and then cooked there we go there we go 
and then we can flip stuff over to the cooked one. Now we've got, wow, almost all the iron is cooked. Holy crap. It's going to start digging into that stuff, which is fine. Actually, to tell you the truth, we kind of need that before all the copper. So we'll let it fry all that stuff. Excellent. Excellent. I should have been putting that into ingots, but that's okay. We're putting it in mats. And yeah, it's <laughs> got a shit ton of iron now. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah. 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 That's fine. That's fine. We'll see a shit ton of co cobalt starting to appear in there pretty soon, too. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to call it an episode here. Um, I'm going to finish off the base off camera. You guys basically get the gist of it. I'm going to make a bunch more cargo box controller uh, along this wall. So there's, I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, controllers along this wall controlling a bunch of cargo. And then... I'll have it all painted and pretty much the base will be done at that point. I'll be doing little odds and sods. We'll, we'll put a big pad out uh, to make a CV eventually. But other than that, we're getting down to the point where we don't really need to work on the base. It's going to be, it's going to just start serving us, servicing us quite fine. Well, guys, next episode, the base will be done for uh, done enough for us. Uh, I'll have all the mats all smelted and ready to go. Um, and I want to actually start construction on a cargo SV. And I think I can do it. I've, I've looked into what the parts I'm going to need to do it with. And I think I can get away with it being level 7. And still being able to warp and carry 64,000 storage units. That's right. Level 7. Warp 64,000 storage unit SV. It's not going to be a combat SV. It's going to be... be uh, it's literally going to be made out of freaking wishes and... And... and uh, and good intent <laughs> well which is called plastic and freaking cargo boxes so yeah don't get shot at well guys next episode we'll get started on that i think uh building uh sv and potentially have mats and another combat sv already cooked up because i'm going to be uh spawning in a a combat SV. I got a pretty good combat SV that I, I made in Alpha 8 that still serves fine for Alpha 9 even with the weight control because I'm not needing anything on it other than its ammunition boxes really because it's very purpose driven now pretty much combat taking out defenses on POIs and taking on patrol vessels pretty much is what it only does. Once it once I do that, it either flies back to the CV, and the CV brings down the HV, or or backs up, or I just use the CV to loot the POI with. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a bunch of building for the next little while. Uh, sorry, guys. If I get sick of it, we'll go out. We'll have the we should have a combat SV spawned in pretty quick anyway, and we can take that out and smash some things and maybe raid some POIs in the meantime. Well, guys, it's really coming together. Um, we're definitely way out of the woods of survival. We're we're definitely into the um, gotta be careful. I heard critters, but they can't really get 
in here unless they're going to walk on water. So, yeah. Well, till next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.